that's that's what I really love about the art journaling. You know, the way that I work, I tend to do a lot of not planned work. You know, you know, so I'll I'll do like a lot of backgrounds, right? Like I'll do things like this where, you know, I might be using brushes, although lately I do a lot of finger painting and it's it's just wonderful because it's so immediate, right? Like, you know, you're taking the, the paint or the gesso like right on your hand and moving it and smearing it and smudging it and pushing it and pulling it all over the page. It's just this super, uh, you know, it's like this experience that really just pulls you right into this moment. And that's where I find it's mindful and it's meditative. Because it just, it pulls you right into the now, you know, this experience with these colors and this moment, you know, and you're just loving it. You're just so present with it and so curious about it, trying to figure out, you know, what does it need next? And there's this conversation that happens where, you know, you're stepping back from it and coming close and really trying to talk to the art piece in a sense and figure out what it needs. And um, that's such a beautiful process. And, you know, and there was no plan. You know, I, I didn't know exactly what was going to happen. I might have been inspired and felt like, you know, I was really in this kind of yellow mood that day. And so this is what came out. You know, and I could go back another day and I've got like this blue background going on. And like, like last night, you know, when I came into this page and um, it had some stuff on it that, you know, hadn't really worked out. So I knew I was going to just kind of start by putting some smoky gesso over it and took my finger and just kind of went into it. And, you know, honestly, I came into this piece and I was like really feeling anxious about some things that are going on right now. And, you know, it just, it pulls you in in this way where you just get into this whole other world. And especially, I think, given the way that I work, where there's, you know, there's no kind of set plan. I might sometimes have an idea or an inspiration, um, something I want to sort of try out. But lots of times, you know, I'll just come in and then, you know, I'm splatting paint and, you know, dripping in other colors. And like suddenly there's this, you know, deer skull that appears. And, you know, so this, like my imagination kind of takes over and there's this narrative then that's happening about, what the deer skull is and what it's saying and speaking to me and there's a mountain and a bird you know and maybe like this is in the ocean and like things are dropping away from the bird because um, now I've come in with some gel pens and I'm just using dots and and I just I really let it evolve and being in this experience of being dwelling in the unknown and having it be an adventure instead of something that's overwhelming and frightening for somebody who gets anxious is amazing you know it's this it's this wonderful fun experience and that's how I use art journaling and the art to take care of my feelings it's it's this experience of dwelling in the unknown and having it be a pleasure and I feel like that's part of what helps me take care of my feelings in my life is spending time here doing this this is this book, you know, is one of the best listeners I know uh, and, and provides me with some of my most meaningful moments outside of, you know, some moments with the people I really love. There's, there's a lot here and it's a lot about my relationship with myself and, and there's a lot that gets reflected in here to teach me about what's good and what's good in me and what's powerful and magical in each of us. And that's why I love it.